come to order. Whoops. I need it. Just a minute. We had a... You didn't make me look up all this law. I wouldn't have all this mess up here. Mr. Good. Ready to proceed? Your Honor, before we proceed, I have one request to make. That is, uh, Mr. Bundy's family is, well, his mother is here already. His father is arriving as well as his sister on a noon flight today. And um, his very good friend Carol Boone and her son Jamie would all very much like to have a contact visit with Mr. Bundy this evening. And I was wondering if I could prevail upon the court to have it arranged so they would be allowed a contact visit with him this evening. Let's see where we're at in the trial. We might have him busy to see. I'm going to try to complete as much as I can, if not all of it today, if we have to go into the evening. Yes. So let's see what time it is. And we won't deprive, <clears throat> certainly won't deprive of anything that, and I'll, I'll confer with correction, see if we can arrange it, depending upon what time we're through. Uh, if not, we can catch it bright and early tomorrow morning one of the two is good we'll get it done for you but i just question the time all right bring a jury on here <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen the jury please take your seats in your box take your original seats Stipulation, polling is waived and presence is noted. Call your first witness. Louise Bundy. Right this way, please, ma'am. Right here, please, ma'am. Step right up the witness box and raise your right hand. Right here, please. What is your name, please? Louise Bundy. And what is your address? I live in Tacoma, Washington. And do you have any children? Now settle down, mother. We haven't lost a mother in a long time, so just don't be nervous, okay? Okay, go ahead. Do you have any children, Mrs. Bundy? Yes, I have five children. And who is your oldest child? My oldest child is Ted. And when was Ted born? November 24th, 1946. Could you tell us the ages of your other children? Yes, uh... Our oldest daughter, Linda, is 27, Glenn is 25, Sandra is 23, and Richard is almost 18. And uh, where was Ted born? In Burlington, Vermont. Who raised Ted as an infant and as a young child? I did. And where were you living at that time? Well, for the first couple of years of Ted's life, I lived in Philadelphia with my family. Did there come a time when you moved to Tacoma, Washington? Yes, I have very close relatives in Tacoma, and they thought it was a great place to live, so Ted and I moved there. Okay, and what, if anything, happened in your life after you moved to Tacoma, Washington? Well, I met a very wonderful man named John Bundy, and we were married a couple, few months later. Okay. And was Ted adopted by John Bundy? Yes, he was. And how old was he when he was adopted? He was four and a half. Could you describe for us uh, Ted's early childhood and his upbringing? How did you raise Ted? Well, we tried to be very conscientious parents, ones who did things with our children, gave them the best we could give them on a middle-class income. But mostly we wanted to give them lots of love. What did your husband do? My husband did and is, has been a cook at Madigan Army Hospital on the fort at Fort Lewis, Tacoma. For how many years has he been a cook there? Since 1952. And have you worked outside the home? 
uh, not until seven years ago. I stayed home with the children until seven years ago. Where did Ted go to school? Objection to relevancy, Judge. Well, uh, Ted went to school in Tacoma. All his schooling was in the city of Tacoma public schools. And during that period of time, did you help Ted with his studies? Oh, yes. I can remember many a night we stayed up way past uh, midnight when he had a big exam coming up, and I'd try to help him with uh, reading off questions I thought he might be getting, and he'd work it out. Was Ted a conscientious student? Very much so. And what year did Ted graduate from high school? He graduated from Wilson High School in 1965. And after, during high school, did Ted ever have any employment or jobs? Yes, he, um, he worked uh, as a newspaper delivery boy for the local paper. He did a lot of lawn cutting jobs. He and a friend had quite an enterprise there. And he worked in a, as a cleanup person in one of the bowling alleys in the, in the area. And after high school, did Ted go to college? Yes, he did. And where did he start college? He went his first year at the University of Puget Sound, which is just two blocks from where we live. Did he go to college that year? Yes, he did. And after he went to the University of Puget Sound, where did he attend school? He then transferred to the, U to the University of Washington in, in Seattle. And what did he study? At that time, he was majoring in Asian studies. Did he ever change his major again? Oh, yes. Um, he, he changed it to several times. Mainly his interest was in, in the law, and uh, so he was taking the courses he felt would be helpful in that respect. Did Ted ever express a desire to go to law school? Many times, ever since he was a small boy, really. And, and uh, where else did Ted go to college? He had a special grant to study at Stanford one summer, and uh, that was while he was still in Asian studies in Chinese language. He also, we have, all of my family live in Philadelphia, so one semester he spent at Temple University in Philadelphia. And, and why did he go to Philadelphia to move on? Partly because he, he wanted to visit with my family. His grandfather lives there, and and uh, he and his grandfather had been very close when Ted was little. But also because at that time, um, he was much interested in, in the plight of the inner city. And if there's ever an example of a plight of an inner city, it would be in Philadelphia. So he thought that would be an interesting That's place right. to what be. What did you say he studied in, in Philadelphia? Where? At, what at Temple University. During the time that Ted was in school, did he have jobs at the same time? Did he work? Yes, it was really necessary. Um, he worked as a, bu as a bus boy at the Seattle Yacht Club. Uh, he worked for a lawyer's or attorney's messenger service. He worked for the crisis clinic, manning telephones at night. What was the crisis clinic? Well, a crisis clinic is where people call in who have urgent, urgent problems that need someone to talk to. And when did uh, Ted finish college? He finished college in 1972, from, graduated from the University of Washington. And during this period of time, did he ever work in any political campaigns? Yes, he did. He, uh, off and on, ever since he was in high school, he had been interested in politics. But I think the biggest one was in 1968. Uh, at first, he was working for the Rockefeller campaign. He came here, in fact, to Miami, 
to the Republican National Convention. Um, when Mr. Rockefeller didn't get the nomination, Ted went back home and worked for the election of the lieutenant governor in the state of Washington that year. Was he ever employed by the, uh, what would be like the statewide Republican committee in Washington state? Yes, he was. In, if I can get the date exact, I believe it was uh, most of 1974. He was assistant to the chairman of the Central Committee. And uh, what else did uh, Ted do, do as work during that period of time? Well, let me see. He was always busy, always had a job. He worked for the uh, Seattle Crime Commission, doing research work, I believe, for them. And uh, he also worked for Governor Evans' campaign later. And was Governor Evans, well, he was elected governor of Yes, Washington. he certainly was. And that was prior to uh, your current governor, is that correct? Yes, that was the 72 campaign. Okay. And after Ted finished college, did he ever go to school after that? Uh, yes, he went to law school. When did he enter law school? He entered the University of Puget Sound Law School in uh, the fall of 74. And how long was he there? The fall and the spring semesters. And where did he transfer after that? To the University of Utah Law School. Okay, and uh, when was the last time that he attended law school? Holocaust was what month of what year that would have been? Uh, October. Oh boy. Get my years mixed up. Um, he went for one year to the University of Utah and started the second year but did not finish. Could you describe the relationship that you have had with your son, Ted Bundy? Objection relevancy. I'll I've always had a very special relationship with all my children. We tried to treat them all equally. But uh, Ted being the oldest, and uh, you might say my pride and joy, our relationship was always very special. We talked a lot together. And uh, his brothers and sisters thought of him as just the top person in their lives, as we all do. And even since the time that Ted has lived away from home, has he maintained good contact and a good relationship with you? Oh, yes, always. <laughs> I have a lot of uh, telephone bills to attest to that. Um, he would call home if he could, if he didn't write. And um, we kept in very close touch, always. What effect would it have on you if Ted were executed? Objection. I'll just thank you. What are your feelings on the death penalty as regards to your son? Same objection. I'll just thank you. Have you considered the possibility that Ted might be executed? Yes. I'll let her answer that. Yes, I've considered that possibility. I had to because of the existence of such in this state. I consider it the death penalty itself to be the most primitive, barbaric thing that one that a human being can impose upon another. And I've always thought that way. It has nothing to do with what's happened here. My Christian upbringing tells me that to take another's life under any circumstances is wrong. And I don't believe the state of Florida is above uh, the laws of God. Ted can be very useful in many ways to many people. 
living. Gone from us would be like taking a part of all of us and throwing it away. And if Ted were to be confined to spend the rest of his life in prison, do you anticipate that you would maintain your close ties with him? Oh, of course. Yes. I have no further questions. No questions. You may step down this way. Right this way, please. Call your next witness. <laughs> Please just step right up to the witness box and raise your right hand. Can you tell us whether the testimony will be able to take the of the